I'm going to tell you exactly how you can feel normal again. How to feel good, really good, before you felt like you were being possessed by menopause. If you're feeling like I was going through menopause, it's probably been a while, right? I'm here to tell you that you can live every day without the sweating, the panic attacks, the tiredness, the sleeplessness, the aches and pains. And yeah, I'm talking about how you can even get your sex drive back too, while getting relief from the physical discomfort we women go through down there. And no, you're probably not going to hear about what worked for me from the traditional medical community. Listen, you're not crazy, and you don't have to go through this alone. For you, menopause doesn't have to be 10 years of hell and then you die. There is hope for what you're going through, okay? Do you want relief from your hot flashes? How about the night sweats, the headaches, the anxiety, and the dozens of other symptoms we can get hit with while we go through menopause? Do you want to feel better, naturally, drug-free, without the side effects that goes along with many of the traditional treatments, the pills our MDs push on us? I'm sure this isn't the first time you've been online looking for a solution, a remedy to help you feel like your old self again, not that sweaty, flush-faced, achy, emotional basket case you've turned into. Well, that is exactly what you're going to learn about in this video. So, do yourself a favor and make sure you stay here. I won't keep you too long. Hey, my name is Erica Browning, and if you're suffering through menopause right now, not too long ago I felt exactly like you do, and I got hit bad. My daughter even started calling me bitchy, itchy, and twitchy, which would be pretty funny if it wasn't me that felt that way. Anyway, maybe my symptoms were a little different from yours. Menopause can hit each of us in different ways, literally from head to toe, from your insides to your outsides. When you're going through it, you think it'll never stop that you'll never feel normal or good again. Here's my story. Maybe you can relate to some of this. I was in my late 40s and been going through Perry for a couple of years. Now up until that day, really, whenever I would feel a bit overwhelmed, when I could feel the anxiety starting to creep up on me, I could feel it and I could deal with it. I'd excuse myself in the office for a few minutes, you know, go outside for some air and catch my breath. Then at the end of one of those hard days, I go home and unwind with a warm bath and a glass or two of mommy's special juice. Yeah, I always start calling it that when the children were little, you know. Anyway, I love a good Chardonnay, especially after one of those days. Well, I had one of those days, and it was the worst day ever. That afternoon, I started feeling confused. I couldn't concentrate. Then I couldn't remember how to do things that I've been doing every day for years. Sitting at my desk that day, I was feeling completely overwhelmed and then frustrated. And that got me scared and panicky. It was like all these emotions hit me all at once. I mean, it was like an unbelievably intense collision, a huge rush of feelings that literally took my breath. I got so distressed and so scared. I wondered if this was it. Was I losing my mind right then and there? Were my coworkers going to have to call 911? Was I going to have to be carted off on a gertie somewhere for sedation observation? I sat there in my cubicle, hugging myself, rocking back and forth, hoping it would all pass. Somehow, all sweaty and flush and feeling like every inch of my skin was tingling from electricity or something, I made it to 5 o'clock and then drove home as fast as the traffic would let me. My poor husband, he didn't know what hit him. I walked in, he was there to greet me with a glass of wine. I'm not even sure what happened or what brought it on, but I started screaming. I started crying. He stood there not knowing what to say. I grabbed the wine from him, kicked off my shoes, ran upstairs to jump in the shower. After I got out, I caught my breath and settled down and thought, that's it. I'm going to have to figure this out. I want to feel normal again. Yeah, I was in bad shape, desperate at that point, but I wasn't going to resign myself to being a sweaty, over-emotional basket case for the next few years. 